What's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here again. This is gameplay commentary in the map village. You're going to be using the Type 95 Red Dot. Now, before you guys start calling me out for being a tryhard, this is an older gameplay of mine. I think I got it right before or after my arcade gameplay. But I decided to upload that one instead of this one because, well, it was a faster paced gameplay. And I thought you guys would enjoy it more. But this is still a very good gameplay. And the reason I'm uploading this gameplay is because, well, They've released information about the patch upcoming for Modern Warfare 3. They're going to be patching the Type 95 alongside the FMG9's Akimbode, as well as the CM901. Now, the FMG9's, like I understand, those things are overpowered as hell at close range. They're just as good as any primary shotgun, if not better. The Type 95 is clearly overpowered for the reason that it has a very good close range damage, and its range is too good, making it so that it's basically a two-bullet kill from anywhere to about, I don't know, zero to, um, I'd say probably 30 feet, honestly. It's two-bullet kill quite a ways. So, I mean, if they reduce the range, that balance it out quite a bit, If my in my opinion, anyways. It would make it very different from the M16, because the M16 is better at long range. It's got really low recoil and good damage, whereas the Type 95 is only good at close range because it's weak long-range damage. So, if they just reduce the damage for its close range, it, that's probably the best solution, but... Who knows, we'll see what they do, because there's no information released on what they're doing. All I've heard so far is they're just patching the weapon, so... Yeah, that definitely needs to be done. But as far as the CM901 goes, I don't know why they're patching that weapon. I mean, I know about this little glitch with it, where if you put a grenade launcher or a shotgun attachment on it, its rate of fire increases from 666 rounds per minute to 750, which makes it a good weapon, honestly. It honestly helps it out, and the thing is, is no one even uses that weapon in the first place. And even with this glitch there, there, it doesn't really help the weapon that much. I mean, it's still a pretty average assault rifle. It's not as nearly comparable to the ACR, the SCAR, especially the Type 95. So, I don't know why they're patching that. I don't know what they're doing about it. All I know is they're patching something about it. So maybe, just maybe, guys, maybe they're increasing the rate of fire for the weapon to 750 for all attachments. And that would honestly balance out the weapon and make it a very strong weapon to use. But who knows? We'll see. But yeah, that's basically why I'm bringing you guys this gameplay with the Type 95. So you can basically see this gameplay with it, and after the patch is active, I'll get another gameplay with the Type 95, and base, and I'll show you guys, and we'll compare the two, and see how different they are from now till later, you know what I mean? But in this gameplay, what I want to talk about a bit, guys, was on my subscriber gameplays. Now, if you guys saw my uh, recent gameplay I posted yesterday, it was by Pandaluger, or Pandaluger, I don't really know how to pronounce it, I think it's Pandaluger, but um... He's a really cool guy. We talked on Skype quite a bit. But yeah, I mean, if you guys didn't see that gameplay, get, make sure to go give it a check out, or just go check it out. He's not really that experienced with commentaries yet, so do come some slack. But you know, it's a pretty good gameplay, I must say. 35 to 1 in Team Deathmatch, guys, is very respectable. It's very good. I haven't gotten any um, above 30, less than 1 death gameplays yet. I've gotten quite a few 40 pluses, but I usually get around 4 deaths in those, if not more. But. I have not gotten any more than 30 kills in less than one death yet, which is... So the fact that he's done that is quite respectable. Honestly, it's pretty good. So definitely make sure to go check that out, guys. He's a very good player. So yeah, definitely go check that out. And make sure to subscribe to his channel if you did like his video. Because, I mean, he's a small channel, right? I mean, he's smaller than I am. And anything smaller than me is tiny on YouTube, guys. I'm tiny on YouTube. So he's, he's pretty small. So guys, make sure to go help him out because he needs all the help he can get at this point. I mean, everyone was there at some point, and, you know, I'm just trying to give them the help I wish I had once upon a time. Because when I first, when I started uploading, guys, my videos, I'm not going to lie, they're, they're crap. So, I mean, I didn't really get that much help, honestly, so. I mean, I did get quite a bit of help about a month into my YouTube's career, but right as I started off, I wasn't getting any help whatsoever. And I was kind of wondering, like, why am I still uploading videos? Or what's the point? What am I getting from this? And then I realized, you know... I don't care what people say about my videos. I enjoy making them, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. And that's what, that's what gave me my motivation. So, yeah, just make sure to go help him out, guys, because he definitely deserves it. He's definitely a nice guy. He definitely makes good, good commentaries. At least he's trying. Like he's his commentary wasn't the greatest. I could definitely see more potential in him. So some tips I would like to give out to you guys, just in general, like for just making commentaries, is first of all, be yourself. Do not try and be someone you're not, because that would just it it won't work. I mean. Try to be something you're not is a lie, and lies come around and bite you in the ass eventually. So, just be yourself in your commentaries. That's the one thing I must um, just stress. Like, I can't stress that enough is be yourself. And the second thing is practice. Doesn't matter how exciting you are, etc., etc. 
you're not gonna be a good commentator unless you practice it. It's like saying a sport. Like I'm not sure. Like I know commentating isn't exactly a sport, but just think of it this way: you can be the best basketball player, but you're not gonna be a very good soccer player just because you just because you're a good basketball player, right? And that's basically what it is. So you can be an app. You can be the best athlete out there, but if you never played a sport, you're not. Chances are you're not gonna be very good at it. So just practice it, guys, and you'll definitely master commentating. That's what it comes down to, guys. Practice and just be yourself. There's no reason to be someone else, cause why would you be someone else? I mean, be different, right? <laughs> but anyways, guys, this gameplay is coming to a close pretty quickly here. This is a pretty good gameplay. I mean, I get what 46 kills, I think, in this game. That's that's pretty damn good, I must say, especially in regular team deathmatch. But I'm finding game gameplays these days much more difficult because people are trying to figure out how to play the game and stuff. So it's getting a bit more difficult, but. Christmas noobs are coming around the corner pretty soon here, so during Christmas break, guys, expect real high-quality gameplays from me because they will be coming. Because, well, we know how it works every year. Little kids, you know, I think I spoke about this before, but I'm gonna speak about it again. Every year, there's those little kids who are what, like, eight to ten years old. Mommy, daddy, I want Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for Christmas. And next thing you know, you got all these little kids playing the game. But anyways, guys. That's the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure to leave it a like. If you liked it a lot, make sure to favorite the video because it does help me out. And if you want to see my channel grow, that was are two ways that you can help me out. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you're not, make sure to click that subscribe button because, again, that helps me out a ton. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.